Welcome back. There's Matt and Snur. I'm Matt. I'm the Snur. We're at a uh, Seaquake Brewery in Crescent City, California, on the Pacific Coast. Yeah, we went and saw the lighthouse here. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. And we got a flight. This is our server. Hey, Destiny. Destiny. Ooh so, um, we did get some appetizers to go with us. We got the cheesy garlic bread and we got the cheese curds, which are made locally. So, I'm gonna sit these over here. Ooh, those we'll get into them in just a second. We'll that looks them. good. So, That's, we got a little flight here. Uh, the first one here we got this is a uh, chocolate porter. Okay. It's uh, 6% black and Munich malts all come it together. It's very good. It's got some cocoa nibs and a great flavor profile that's as diverse as the ingredients themselves. So look for notes of plum, berry, and chocolate. I like that. It's It's got a and little nuts. bit of a, it's got a little bit of a tartness it's to say it's it. It's got nuts in it. It's got nut in it. Like it's the flavor nuts. of nut. What does it taste like? Let me think. It's tart. I got the chocolate. Nuts tart. Uh, there's a little tartness to it. It's not, it's, it's not super, it's not super smooth. Like a lot of them we've had. It's got a bite to it. It's good. Uh, yeah, it, this was a, it's got a little tart. It's good. I, I like it. I would spend a little bit of money on this and buy a glass. So, at one to ten? Uh, I'm going to go with six. I'm going to go to six. Six sounds good. It's not my That's favorite. I'm not a poor guy. Um, it's, it's not my favorite. Like I said, there's that bite to it, which is. You got, you got to drink it. Well, I will. I'll tell you. We're on vacation. Jen said she'd drive. I'm talking about the girl. All right. So now I'm going to cleanse my palate. All right. The next one we got is the Redwood Highway Hazy IPA. Okay. I'll um, let you try it's first. This one. It's pretty. It is a pretty hazy IPA. It's got a brew this single hot version with a mosaic for a big tropical flavor. No, no, that wasn't that one. This is the 7.2%. 7.2%. Yeah. It's got bursts with juicy flavors of orange, citrus, and tropical fruits. Kettle hop wow. and double dry hopped with citra, mosaic, and calypso. And they put four pounds of hops in each barrel of this. Four pounds. All right. That's a lot of hop. Mm -hmm. you think? It's got a good fragrance. That's smooth. That's good. That is very good. Yeah, I'm gonna get some of that to go. I'm gonna go a 7.5 on that one. I'll give it a seven and a half. Seven which and is half. high, you know, for me for an IPA. Yeah, it's good for an IPA. I'm drinking shit ton of that. Okay. I'm gonna a six pack of that to home with, so cool. It's got a nice little it's got a mild bitterness at the end, but not bad. Citrus in there. I'm not getting so much that bitterness, but I like it. It's got a very smooth taste, good. Um, and there's no nasty after finish with this, which we've gotten with some of the IPAs. So yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. Now, what's our next one, Matt? Uh, the next one we got is the Kamome. Kamome. Now this one um, is a beer that in collaboration with a sister city, and I hope I don't mess this up, but it's called Rikuzintakata Japan uh, in Crescent City, which is where we're at. Um, they have a documentary called Kamome, K-A-M-O-M-E, uh, on the NBC Peacock streaming app, and it's free. So check that out, and we'll see if our um, reviews are similar to what they talk about on that, uh, that documentary. <laughs> the fragrance is good. You know, a lot of Japanese beers are like lager, so this... I like this. I like it a lot. It's a good, smooth beer. That's good, crispy. Yeah. Crispy and smooth at the same time. Yeah. Lager. No, type. no nasty aftertaste again. Um, it's 4.9%. So this is an all day beer or, you know. Yeah, you can drink this all day on the beach or in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Wherever, the coast, I, you know. I like that. It's got a good. Pacific Coast, Gulf Coast, Atlantic yeah. Coast. Any coast. I like that. I'm gonna go um, 7.5 again. For I me, look, I go seven. I liked it. It's pretty good. I think like really you drink a lot it. of that, and it's famous because it's got a documentary. It's got a documentary. Yeah. So the the last one in this flight is Wicked Aunt Tammy Double IPA. 
It's surprisingly 9.5% ABV. And chock full of malt and hoppy goodness. It says it's an easy drinking. Uh, there is pear and citrus in the room. The aroma. Are you getting fruit out of that? And a very sweet. I guess that's the pear. Mm. It's got a good fragrance. Oh. You like it? I like that. I'm going to let the camera person have a sip of that. What a cute little taste of glasses. They are cute little glasses. I like that. Um, I'm tempted to go an eight on this one for me. It's a little bitter on the back end. There is a little bitterness on the back end of it, but it's not severe. There again, you're not going to drink a lot of this with that 9.5 alcohol. I'm going to give it a six. Sorry. I'm still going to go. I like it. Sorry. Hey, I'm going to go with the eight. All right. I, I like it. Like I said, it's it's a, the flavor profile is different, but I really like it. All right, so out of the four, which one did you like the best? I'm going to assume that one. I like that one, but if I'm drinking for like all day, mm -hmm. I would go with the um, Kamomi. Kimo okay. I like that one just a little bit better. I actually like the Kamome too. Yeah. Um, but for me, I like the Redwood Hazy. Uh, the Redwood was good Redwood too. Redwood Highwood Hazy. The best. It was good too. Now that's a 7.2. A little bit higher gravity again. So, you it was know. good. I'd spend money on all four of these, especially if you're visiting, come in, have a flight. Uh, this is, yeah. Seaquake Brewery. And uh, you're, you're just off the coast. It's got a cool vibe to it. It's like it's, a modern but like high-tech log cabin and feel. from the, <laughs> the food here looks like it is to die for yeah i think we'll eat some of that that cheese bread is divine. yeah and we've got the cheese curds here all right so we'll catch you again catch you on the flip side of the next stop peace peace